we're outside the <laughs> dining room and Mary's like crying. I just am so thankful for my time here. Like those years were just amazing. Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. These guys. From Chicago, Illinois. Chicago, Illinois. And these guys are just uh, doing the morning routine, and we had a great day yesterday. I preached at. Uh, this is the reason we came to Chicago was, first of all, that uh, yesterday I was invited to preach at a church here where the pastor, actually, two of the pastors of that church. One is the professor who mentored me and really taught me how to preach and he's the pastor of that church and then a good buddy of mine is the associate pastor and so um, it was so fun. We had a great morning and now we have a few days that we're just spending here in Chicago reliving memories and eating good food and enjoying this city. We realized I think we're realizing being here how much we love this city. Uh, I think part of it's the nostalgia of this is where we dated through college, but also it's it's a fun city. Yeah. So, anyways, good food. so much good food. Good morning, Ollie boy. He and I had a fun walk in the city. Ollie's old stomping grounds. All right, we just came out of the restaurant. We ate a little bit of lunch. <laughs> we did a little live stream while we were eating lunch. We had some chicken and waffles, and uh, it was good. Yes, it was. Now we are We are, I don't know if this is like a steroid situation. I feel weird. I'm trying to like snap out of it. Okay, I know what's gonna make me snap out of feeling weird. We are getting ready to go to Target right now. Are we only eight minutes? Yeah, I'm gonna go to the one closest. Okay, cool. Um, basically, I was talking to a friend yesterday who works in a public school here in Chicago. And she was telling me about her um, students and like her work there and that sort of thing. And she just mentioned something about school supplies that they were, that they didn't have enough of. And I don't, <clears throat> I don't have any experience in the public school system. I'm not a teacher, but I was like that is something that I can actually do. I can't go teach be or around kids. be around kids, but what? I can go to Target and buy crayons. So there's a few things that she needed for her classroom. And when I was like, could I like get those things for you? She was like, oh my gosh, that would be amazing. <clears throat> Which is just so fun for me to like be able to have a part in it. Like, I don't know, I'm excited. So, we're gonna go to Target. We're going to Target. She mentioned that Legos would be really helpful for, I think she said like her math and science like PlayStation or play area of the classroom. And so we're gonna go pick out some Legos, crayons, tissues, Lysol wipes and a, a few other things. So I am just so excited. And then we're gonna drive downtown. And last night we drove downtown for like 10 minutes and it made us so happy to see our old stomping grounds because we're out a little bit, 20 minutes from where we used to live downtown. We're 20 minutes away from that. And it's like a completely different area. We love this area. We're like, uh, we could totally live here. 
we're not moving don't worry but anyway yeah so to, and tonight we're actually gonna sit in on a preaching class at the school that we uh, went to for undergrad and uh, a buddy of mine is teaching the course and so that'll be fun we're basically just so excited and so I'm really hoping to snap out of feeling really weird and um, after that coughing fit, my lungs do feel a little bit more open. So, that's good. I was sitting at the table before we went live. I was like, <laughs> just like vegging, like, yeah. <laughs> we're doing this and it's fun. And we're in Chicago. <laughs> and also I'm gonna blast some Christmas music because I think that's gonna help me as well. Awesome. <laughs> The train just went by. The L. In lovely Perry. At night, when we're driving through the city, I loved seeing Christmas trees through the windows. Oh, so magical. So when we get back to Boston, we are putting, we are getting a, a think a potted one. Yeah. And put it up. Woo! -woo. Woo! Yeah! both gasped when we came in because Christmas makes everything better. First stop? Legos. Legos are great for math. Does everything come in kits that you build stuff or do they just have like Lego boxes? Yeah, that would be ideal. Yeah. All right, we got a big tub of Legos. Perfect. But the problem is if you're nine, if you're 100 years old, you can't play with these. That's discrimination, glue sticks. I love the kind that goes on purple. We're having a crayon conundrum. Yeah, do they, we? They only have 13 packs of crayons. So I'm wondering if there's like a, an office supply store. Maybe, but I feel like they don't stock those all that much either. Tissues for all the snots. Yay! Clipboards. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a creative shot, honey. I'm a professional. What kind of creative shot can we do for printer paper? <laughs> yeah, and now we're getting crayons. They don't One, actually two. have enough for her classroom, but we're gonna get all that we can. Six, eight, ten, twelve. And we'll leave one for someone else. There we go, perfect. We have a very colorful cart, which is good. Kindergartners like colors, I think. I love it. All right, guys, we just came to our, what is it, alma mater? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, but uh, we're outside the student <laughs> dining room and Mary's like crying. All the memories. We're gonna go upstairs to the coffee <sighs> shop and get a cup of coffee and... Try not to cry about it. Yeah, but they, oh. we, we just stepped by and got alumni IDs and all the... Nostalgia. I just am so thankful for my time here. Like, those years were just amazing. Yeah. So, it's just fun to be back. Yeah. It is very fun. We got in the elevator and Mary said, we should film this. Don't you remember this? Oh, yes. I don't remember actually. Really? Looking in the ceiling. I don't remember that. I didn't know that. I guess I, I, guess I didn't look up enough when I was in college. <laughs> Okay, we just walked around a bit and uh, like visited places like health services. You know? I went in a bathroom to wash my hands downstairs on the first floor and um, it was definitely the bathroom where my nurse met me. So when I was a student here, like I did most of my, like I did all my port care and all of that, but then sometimes I'd need to have a nurse come. I know we recently told this story, but I went to health services, which we just visited just to reminisce because we're weird. And um, I don't think I had ever gone in there. <laughs> and the first week of school, I was on IV antibiotics and I went to health services to get my blood drawn. And I'll just say it didn't go great. So after that, we, I guess we got coordinated with a home care nurse and then she came out either to my dorm room usually but I was in between classes and it must have been a timed dose blood draw she met me in between classes down in that bathroom where I just went to wash my hands and I'm like washing my hands and I was like this is totally the counter where we laid out the blood draw stuff that is so funny. like oh my god 
English. Oh, it's so fun to... Well, and I'm just a sentimental person, of course. That's why I was crying at the SDR, the student dining room. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I think I'm the person who's like, oh, these were my hallways. Like, this was my windowsill that I used to sit in. Did you actually sit in this windowsill? I wouldn't be surprised because I used to, down this hallway used to be these couple computers. So when we went to college, I would say 99% of students had their own laptops. So it was uh, 2006 to 2010. So most people had their own laptops, but some people didn't. And so they would use the library computers or the computers like placed around campus. There were a bunch of different ones. And I used to use those computers if I didn't, I didn't really carry my laptop around. Yeah, you just like left it in your room. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, yeah, I've, I've probably sat on this windowsill. I remember looking down there. Actually, my dorm room, I think would have been was I on the like right. this was the, the sixth floor apartment um, it looked down right here so it was above where we are right now or the next building must have been that building confusing, it's confusing. anyway it's just really fun this is this is, is what we're doing I mean Mary and I both would say that these years here were probably the most formative years of our lives. Absolutely. I mean... Shaping who we are. Of course that's second to the fact that our parents raised us for yeah. 18 years yeah. and then we came here. So second to our parents influence in yeah. our lives. But in terms of like developing you know that independence and yeah. like your personhood and how to think about life and the world and growing up yeah can you hold the camera in my arms tired I'm all off so but, <sighs> so far <fun. laughs> and like this is something that's cracking us up so let me think here this school has about 1600 undergraduate school students and so that's like enough people that you don't know everybody but you recognize the majority of people like yeah, yeah. And so we were cracking up because as we walked into the coffee shop, of course, we know nobody except for professors. We don't know any students here. And um, we walk in and like instantly I recognized like 12 people. Like, like we have a name for everybody because they're representative of all these people when we were here. Like, oh, that looks like Matt. And that looks like Kevin. And that, it, it's like so. they're wearing the same clothes. Or like Ben had that sweatshirt. And like the... They embody the characters yeah. that we knew, yeah. and I guess it's just part of the circle of life. <sighs> so, Anyways. I wonder if there's, I wonder if there are any CF patients. I wonder. I know that there was a Possibly. CF patient before I was here. Mm -hmm. She ended up leaving for a semester, and she had a double lung transplant. Oh wow! But was I that, think that was, that was many the, years before me. Was that the like her dad worked here? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I Anyways. wonder how she is. Yeah. But well, we're gonna keep reminiscing. We'll be back here tomorrow, I think, and um, we're gonna go to that class in a little yeah. bit. And uh, it's it's a preaching class, so students are gonna be preaching. I'm, my buddy's the professor, so we're, I'm gonna contribute to the feedback, I think, and so it'll be fun. So until then, we're just gonna be squealing. Well, I'll be squealing and crying. Oh, I remember this. And I'll be like, shh, you're embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, guys. As always, as always we'll we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Hi, Ollie. Uh, sir? Sir? Hey, Ollie. What? Hey, Bones. Can you say good night, everybody? We'll see you tomorrow. As always, see you tomorrow.